Hello world, I'm Ben Dan, and nice to meet you. Got some questions I'm wondering, can you answer like, how much longer I do this? How much longer I do this till they realize it? Hello guys, it's me, Blue Flame Fire Z, and it's been uh, quite a good while since I last uploaded a video. Um, Cause I was sick. Um, I'm feeling a little bit better, but uh, like, if you hear my voices, you know, I, mean, I don't know, like, it, sound, it sounds deeper than normal, like this. Anyways, um, so a subscriber of mine, uh, DBZ something, I forgot, I really forgot her name, yeah, your name, sorry, but uh, I'll leave your uh, channel link in the description, go check him out. Uh, he asked me how to put a layout or yeah a layout on a video so I'm just gonna uh, show you how to do that it's pretty easy actually uh, so let's get right into it so I have a video here you can choose any video just had this one ready it's pretty long so I'm gonna shorten it cuz yeah so first of all what you wanna do is you see this box right here you just want to right click then go to insert video track after that you want to go to uh, your layout so if I go open then go to pictures if I go find place like to layout this is random you can use any layout okay now this is has two screens the two screens uh, layout is similar to the one screen, you just have to uh, do the same thing that I'm going to show you now two times. So if I just go to uh, my Storm Silver layout, just put, just open two of them real quick. Okay, so we have these two, C and D. Um, so both of them will come up on in the video track I'm gonna delete those two oh, sorry. I'm gonna do this one too I'm show you from the beginning so what you want to do is just drag out the layout and so what you want to do now is just like drag it out uh, until the next layout will come in like until you need to make the next change like when you catch a, a new Pokemon or uh, your new route say that I'm in your new, your new route now so just put the other one right after it like so and uh, you want to right click in the middle both of them and then just go transition and insert crossfade so now when they change just sound a bit blue. you'll see okay. and this is not my gameplay by the way it's golden Rayquaza because uh, what I usually do is after I render I delete all the material that I used so but uh, it will fade so if I just drag this in a bit yeah see now up here so um, how do you make the video to fit in the layout? That's pretty easy actually, but it requires precision. So when I right click on the video, go to properties, and go to maintain aspect ratio, uncheck that, and uh, check disable resample, and press OK. Now what you want to do is uh, go to this button over here, the pan and crop, event pan and crop, click on that, so this will pop up. Um, you need to have your eyes on the video so you can see what you're doing so first of all what you can do is you can resize this box to make the video bigger and smaller and when you make that box smaller the video be uh, becomes bigger the big vi video size not like the not the how um, megabytes and gigabytes that stuff the video size like this one and this uh, in Vegas so 
uh, it's inverted so we make it smaller it goes bigger we make it bigger it goes smaller so uh, you wanna try to make it fit in so if I go to the edge here see you can use your arrow keys by the way and they are inverted also Now the problem with having a black stroke is when you have the video, the video background will be black so sometimes it's gonna be hard to see but uh, yeah, make that smaller again. If you wanna zoom out you just go to this, use your mouse wheel or just go to zoom edit tool and then just right click. Okay and then go to this tool, normal edit tool. And then you can go back to it like normal. Like it. So, for tutorial sake, I'm not going to do it as precise. But so, so don't take the so tutorial don't doesn't take long time. But if you press Control Z, it will undo the change you made. And okay, this is not not so precise but uh, and if you want if you like if you don't want to do all of this all over again just name it like blah blah anything and then just press this uh, save preset button the disk button and then if you press the downwards arrow downwards pointing arrow you'll see all your saved uh, presets. And if you press this, it will delete the preset. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And, um, please subscribe and like. This one, this wasn't a long tutorial, but, uh, it's easier, it's always easier to make, to show something than to tell it. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and, uh, I'll see you all guys later. Peace out.